Hello, this is the first of a few videos which are continuing to look at cybersecurity but are focusing primarily on policies which are such a key aspect of security, a very unexciting aspect of security but a very important one. So a policy is a document really which is set by leaders of different organisations and they are setting these policies for all staff to follow or for certain staff to follow in some cases. So really a policy is this document which is telling the staff what they should be doing and what they shouldn't be doing. So it's a really key area of managing people. You've got to have certain policies in writing, which are easy for staff to follow and are clear to the staff. Policies are not very technical. There are certain aspects of cybersecurity which are clearly very technical and require lots of detailed knowledge of different systems and computers. But policies are very much about how you are able to manage people and set out things really clearly. And in terms of the policies we are mostly focused on, we're focusing on security policies. Some policies are for, you know, the staff car park or what time you arrive to work or whether you are allowed to wear certain shoes to work. So policies which are not super relevant to security. But certain policies are, certainly. So security policies are setting out how any problems related to IT and security should be addressed and also how the IT equipment should be being used. Now both things here highlighted are quite general, they could apply to just general IT policies but for our purpose from now on we're going to talk just about how security is affected. You know for example somebody could damage a computer and that would be covered by a policy but it's not necessarily related to security. However just to be more general for a second, policies need to both define what is acceptable and also unacceptable behaviour. If a policy is not really clear on what you should be doing or equally what you shouldn't be doing, how are the staff meant to follow it and adhere to the policy? It's very hard to enforce a policy unless you've got clear definitions of what is allowed and what isn't allowed. Now every organisation has got policies. Where I work has got lots of policies, some of which I've read, some of which I haven't read. The ones I have read are very boring and dry so clearly there are ways you can make policies which are better than other ways and for security if you've not got good policies it's going to be extremely hard for you to control security you could pay for amazing firewalls amazing antivirus software but if you've got a weak policy for your security it can completely ruin all of that stuff and policies that should be free or cheap to make so they're hard to, they are hard to make and the things which you should be focusing on if you were going to write a policy or learn about them. So policies should be really clear about, first of all, first and foremost, who is responsible for what. So this relates to, first of all, who should be in charge of a policy, who is going to be making sure it's being followed and handling any people who are not following it. But it can also refer to who exactly is the policy aimed at. Certain policies will not apply to people working in the organisation. Some policies might only apply to the IT team or might only apply to programmers or certain areas of your organisation and so that's got to be really clear. If it seems like it only applies to a few people but you're being too too specific, it can mean the rest of your company are not adhering to the policy. And this often stems from your Chief Information Security Officer, your CISO. That's a job title which is most common at big companies for smaller companies, it may not be the main role they do, but it's a senior person usually who sits just below the CEO or the person in charge, and they are, among other things, in charge of making sure policies are clear. So they'll be responsible overall, but usually they'll delegate certain things, especially in big companies. So here we've got the top of a password policy. It would be a long document, and it says it's prepared by an IT manager who presumably has been given this task to do by the Chief Information Security Officer. And that's who you would be reporting to. So anyone who's not following this policy would have to report to the CISO and he or she would be in charge of making sure things are being done properly. And often policies will say something like scope, for say who it applies to. In this case, it applies to all staff in the organization, but equally it might say the scope is just admin staff or the scope is just IT workers. So it can be more specific. And just related to this point on who is responsible, who is going to be held accountable, who is 
whose job it is to handle all this stuff. Well, you need to be able to report concerns. A major issue in organisations is having a policy which nobody really follows. And so ideally, as a manager, you want any issues to be reported straight away so you can fix them and try and make sure they don't happen again. And if it's not clear who is the person you report to, that's going to be really hard. In this case, you're asked to report directly to the CISO, but it could also be someone else. And often they try and do it anonymously. They might realise that actually some staff will not report on their friends or colleagues. They might prefer to do it without anyone knowing their name. And so some companies allow what you might call whistleblowers to report things anonymously. Linked to all of this, we need to be clear in the policies about how they're going to be enforced. If no one really cares because there's no consequence, it's a waste of time. So there needs to be some process to ensure anyone not following it is held accountable. Not fired on the spot, unless it's really bad, but are trained maybe and given a warning and so on and so on to make sure things are done fairly, but things are being done. And finally, it's important that policies are clear about specific details. Often a policy is a general guidance. In terms of security, if you're not being specific somewhere in your documents, there are so many areas where things could go wrong. So in our context, we call this we call these parameters. So the details about particular areas. So we'll talk about in the next video about password parameters, different aspects of passwords which must be adhered to. So you could just say in your policy, I want everyone to have a strong password, but that's not a good policy because it can be interpreted in different ways. If you're really specific, there can be no room for somebody arguing about it or pretending they didn't know what to do.